I think number one, and this is far and away number one, is to keep it top of your mind as you're creating or revising your CV that this is a marketing tool. This is not a list. This is not your autobiography. You're creating a marketing tool that's designed to prompt a purchase decision, if you will. And in this case, that purchase decision that you're looking for is invite Harsha in for an interview. Yeah. That's what you're looking for. And so what you need to do with development of your CV is think about what does my target audience need to see very quickly that I can walk through their doors and deliver? What are those skills? What is that experience? And how can I shine the best light on that throughout my CV? So that's number one. Um, number two would be tell a story. Tell a story. What is the kind of thread that weaves through your career? Maybe even if it's a, a winding path, as obviously I have had, um, there are threads that run through your career. Maybe it's everything I've ever done speaks to my love of problem solving or really strong communication skills, whatever that is. And also, don't be afraid to explain what you fear somebody's going to wonder or worry about. So here's an example of that. Say I have a two-year gap between 2019 and 2021. I lost my job. It was COVID. Yeah. I, I decided to just stay home, whatever. But now I'm in a job, but it's not the greatest job. And, and I'm thinking about looking for something new. So on my CV, I've got that gap. And so rather than just wait for somebody to wonder or worry about something like that, you can always explain it. So in your job that you have now, you could start the, the entry by saying, um, following a, a COVID related um, downsizing, you know, was invited by this XYZ company to come do that. So you're, you're explaining very succinctly how you got from one thing to the other, why you had the gap. So, so telling a story as you lay out the, the CV is, is a great idea. Um, and then third is not worrying so much about the length of the CV, even if someone says nobody's ever going to read it, if it's over one page long, I, I will tell you straight up that is not the case. Now, but making sure you're, those words are earning the spot on the page. You don't want to blabber on and on and make it a painful journey for somebody to get through your CV. But likewise, don't be afraid to extend onto a second page unless an application or an opportunity explicitly says we need a one page CV, then you want to follow their rules. But if you need a couple of pages to properly shine light on the things that make you a great fit for any particular role, take two pages. It's not a big deal.